I'm a man of substance. Because I'm the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I am excellent. Because I am the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I confess. I'm a joint heir with Christ. The world is mine. I declare that all things are mine. Now I can see why Paul was so successful. Now I can understand why the man said, I have fought a good fight. He said, I have finished my course. I have run the race. He says, I have kept the faith. Why was this man so successful? One time, he said, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than you all. Now we can see another thing. He says, and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ah, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus. He included the word there for a specific reason. He's talking about the Lordship. The one that has the dominion. Do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. What will happen if you did your work in the name of the Lord Jesus? What will happen if you went to the library in the name of the Lord Jesus? The Holy Ghost will help you find the books you need. What will happen if you sat down to study in the name of the Lord Jesus? Tell me, do you know what will happen if you began that project in the name of the Lord Jesus? I heard about a lady. She had a garden. She had come to know Christ and come to know the Spirit of God. She had a garden. She made ridges. She said, once she was in her garden, as she was making a ridge, she looked and three others had been made. She said, who did? She was alone. She decided to do another one. As she did another one, four others had been done. That was how she got introduced to the ministry of the spirits and angels in her life. From then on, she had testimonies after testimonies of wonderful things like this by the Spirit of God. I said, the Holy Ghost answers to the name of Jesus. When you say, I do this thing in the name of Jesus, let me tell you what happens. Let me tell you. Paul told us in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ. And the word is the same. I showed it to you Sunday. In Christ. I can do all things in Christ. The Holy Spirit made Jesus the Christ. So when he tells us, whatsoever you do in word or deed, do in the name of Jesus, he's telling you that the power of the Holy Spirit will be in operation. How can you fail? How can you lose? Let me tell you, even when, listen, even when you have messed it up, you have misfired, you've written the wrong thing, you've done the wrong thing, when you are sleeping, the Holy Ghost, hallelujah! He'll give you visions. You understand exactly what to do. When you wake up in the morning, you say, guess what? I have the answer. Go well to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. I got the answer. Every day you come into the office, I have an answer. Hallelujah. Because you have an excellent spirit. If Joseph could be trusted for answers, if Daniel could be trusted for answers, you will be trusted much more for answers. Can you shout amen, somebody? Hallelujah. 
Oh, glory to God. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the name of Jesus. No wonder he said he are washed, he are sanctified, he are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Shout amen, somebody. Oh, glory to God. I found my way. I found my way in every situation. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. When I call the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost goes into action. I'm a success. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo! Success only. Victory only. Hallelujah. What a life. What a life. What a life. What a life. What a life! Go ahead and worship. Go ahead and praise Him. May God's Spirit rest upon you. May that wonderful name of Jesus work in your life continually. May His light shine through you. Yes, be strong. Yes, be healthy. Be prosperous. Be successful. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.